When was the last time God asked you to do something and you said, God, I can't do that, when really it was, God, I don't want to do that. Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. There's a great story in the Old Testament that I ran across. I love reading the Old Testament and pulling out these little stories that have a lesson for us. And this one is in the third chapter of Judges, and it's about a man named Ead. And it says, this is the third chapter, and I'm going to start in the 15th verse and just kind of uh, tell you the story. But it says in the 15th verse that God raised up a man to rescue Israel. Israel was being suppressed by a country. They were being slaves. They were having to pay huge taxes. And God heard their cries, and he raised up a man. He raised up Ead to save Israel. So Ead had a job to do. He accepted the job. Listen what he had to do. He got an 18-inch double-edged dagger. He strapped it to his inner thigh. Then he took the taxes from his community to take to the king to deliver them. So when he got to the king, paid the taxes, he was getting ready to leave, and he asked his men to to leave the room, and he told the king, I have a message from God. So the king was all excited, so he asked everybody to clear out of the room, and he was left there with Enid. Enid locked the door. He came over to basically get close and whisper this message from God. And at that moment, he pulled out that 18-inch dagger, and he buried it into the king's stomach. This was a big man. And the Bible says the fat literally enveloped the sword and the king died right there. Now here's the point of the story. Yes, Ead did what he was told to do to that point, but look how he had to escape. There was only one way out of that room, the king's chambers. In the 23rd verse, it tells us he had to climb down the latrine and escape through the sewer system. Okay, let's put it all into perspective. Has God ever asked you to climb into the bottom of an outhouse? I don't think so. He asks us to do many things. So many times we bulk. So many times it makes us uncomfortable. So many times we think someone is going to think different of us or think we're weird or think we're intrusive. Let's keep it in perspective. God would not have you do something that he didn't think you were capable of doing. So just as Ead did everything that the Lord asked him to do to the point of climbing down a latrine, and going out a sewer system, let's be faithful to God. Let's listen to his voice and be obedient today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.